Saludos familia, Angel Anderson here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. The best day ever. And if not, this video will make it a little bit better. So let's jump into it. The best productivity journal is the one that you use most frequent. Whether it's paper, whether it's digital. If you watch my previous a, a video I did last year where I review a bunch of uh, different productivity journals, I go over things that they all have in, in, in common, things that they work, things that don't work, etc., etc. Then you know that I am, if you watch it, you know that I love, I'm always looking to improve my productivity and, and one way to do it is through journaling, whether it's paper or digital. But if you haven't watched that video, at any time of during this video, the link is going to be down below. Go and check it out and, and, and enjoy. It's one of my most popular videos. So go, go and check it out. Today I have the full focus from Michael Hyatt and I have the five second journal from Mel Robbins. Now this is brand new. I haven't used it yet, but I opened, I, I, arrived, I arrived yesterday and I opened it and something caught my attention. But let's start with the full focus. I've been using this. So I started with paper um, a long time ago. I tr have transitioned from the bullet journal, uh, using the bullet journal format, and then I try other productivity journals. If you don't try something new, you never know if it was gonna work best for you, right? And then l last year, towards mid, I would say mid G year, I transitioned to full digital and I loved it because actually it was sooner, it was probably March. And I loved it because I can search, I can, I've been using it for twofold to journal. So I, I, I have the same format of the most popular journals and I use it every day, but I also can go back and see the lessons learned, uh, which is what I upload in this, in my YouTube channel on my Facebook, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel for some reason, hey, hit the subscribe button. So YouTube can let you know the next time I upload a video. I upload lessons learned and I compile them from things that I do throughout my week, throughout my months. And then at the end of the year, I do a quick recap, right? One thing that I like about, so Michael Hyatt is, a, is an expert on goal setting and, 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 and you can see it, you can see it uh, in this journal. The first thing, it starts with my annual, my yearly goals. And then, you know, achievement, achievement goals, uh, you know, what are you going to do if this is spiritual, intellectual, emotional, physical? The guy is a master on it. And after you flip a couple of pages, it jumps to quarters. And what I like about the quarters as a marketer is, or, or tracking the quarters is that a lot of entrepreneurs and, mo and small business owners, they don't have a, let's call a marketing calendar, meaning uh, big companies align their promotion with what is on people's mind already, whether it's uh, Santa Claus or Valentine's Day, your birthday, it doesn't matter. They find an excuse to do a promotion, especially if it's in line with what you're ready with a holiday that is already in your mind. So they just join the conversation. Small business owners and entrepreneurs, they fail to do that. And I love this integration because I can, I can have all my dates planned for my quarters and I just keep, keep moving forward. So each a journal, for the full focus is 90 days. So you should, four of these journals supposed to be uh, for a full year. And then you keep moving forward and then you plan your ideal week. Another thing that is amazing as a reminder, and a lot of people don't do, if you don't plan your week, you're gonna show up on Monday and you're going to react and we all know that reacting is not necessarily good. So I, my suggestion is if, you have, if you're not planning your week, start planning your week. And then it starts with the dates. So you have an area for notes that you might use, you might not use. And then you have this area here, which I'm gonna go in detail. So you have, one thing that I like is that in this area here, start with the day of the week. And then it's blank, so you put, so it's Monday, and then the next page will say Tuesday but the date is blank. And then you have your big three tasks, which is a commonality in all the productivity journals. 
But with that said, one thing that this journal don't have is, you know, they like what I'm grateful for today. And it's not that I miss it. It's just, it's a refreshment. It's, it, it's nice to see that they're not duplicating what Michael is not, Michael High is not duplicating what other people are use, is using. And um, I don't know, it's nice, to see, it's nice to use a journal that is not, that it takes you past that phase of I need a reminder of my motivation and I'm just going to get going. I'm going to start working on it. And then you have other a space for other tasks here, which is nice. I haven't used them all yet. I'm doing a lot better. And then you have a, on, in, in the other column, so it's two columns. Th big three other tasks and then in this column is uh, so you can plan your day the next page is for notes and, and I, I use it sometimes I don't use it sometimes one thing that I don't like about this journal is the fact I like and I don't like is the fact that it has the dates meaning if I don't do anything today today is Tuesday uh, then I'm wasting that page so I'm, tomorrow I will be using Wednesday. Make sense? Um, but then you have your weekend optimizer, which is, is something new in the journal. The weekend, op weekend optimizer, it goes after uh, you start planning that on Friday if you want. And it goes to, you know, it's different. It's different. What you want to do for resting, what you want to do for relationship, uh, relationship, which is, is it's nice to see somebody... And it goes, it goes without saying, he's, he's a family man. And it, it's important to, uh, to have things like this. See, most, a lot of, I meet a lot of entrepreneurs that are single, and the only thing that their life is their business. But things change when you have kids and when you have a family. You have to, you have to also put them in, in, in the picture. You have to give them, prioritize time with them. It's not just about me. I got two kids. I got a wife. And I'll make sure that I do homework. I cook for them. And, and, and I love it. And business uh, these days, it, takes, it took a step back. And, and I, I, it's not that it doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, you can sell a business. Family will be there. I don't, I don't want to get divorced. So it's good. Here, the, the, he also includes refreshment, recreation, and... Rules for re rejuvenation. So, you know, relaxing, whatever it is that you do. And it's good that it's there because it's a reminder. And then you start all over again with the planning your day, planning your ideal week, looking, make sure that your goals are there. It's one of the best journals I've used so far. And I'm very happy that I give it a shot. Will I buy again? I don't know. I'm going to use, after I finish this quarter with the full focus, I'm going to start with the five second journal, but I'm gonna share with you what I liked about it. And and I, I highly recommend you give it a shot. If you're not familiar with Mel Robbins, she's the author of the uh, five second rule uh, book, and I will link it below, it's, it's, it's an amazing book. So I'm gonna jump through the first one, and I'm just going to go to, because I haven't used it, it's a two-page journal again, so it's something different. You start with the time, the place, which is here, and it's blank, so meaning I don't waste a page. And then the date, I don't waste a page, so if I skip today, tomorrow, I don't have to start in another page. Then it tells me, today I feel depleted, man, fine, good, energized, and it's like... Uh, it's something different. I haven't seen this before. So it, it puts a smile on my face. I mean, I'm itching to try something different, but I'm not going to jump into the five second journal until I finish with the full focus. And then I, and then it tells you, I feel this way because, and it's, it's, it's a spin to the, I'm grateful for, in my opinion, uh, to feel more energized again. And again, it's a good, in my opinion, it's, it's a spin of the, uh, what I'm grateful for today, because you have to, you have to take ownership. You have to take on of your of your day. You have to, if you want to feel better, if you want a better day, you have to do something about it. You can't wait for things to happen. So, it's a. I'm happy. For, I like that. Then my top projects today are. It doesn't have one, two, three, but it has four lines. Basically, 
you know, in right here, in the second area. Then, this project matters because, and sometimes this is good for the beginner, uh, for the non-black belt time management ninja, let's call it that way. Yeah, that's good, non-black belt time management ninja. Because sometimes, I've seen people putting stuff on their to-do list that don't matter, they don't, the, the, the thing in the to-do list don't get them closer to the goal, uh, to what they want to achieve, and if you, Reflect for a second why this matter. You might catch your, you're gonna catch yourself doing, putting the stuff in the to-do list that should not be there. One, one small action. The next one here. So we got how I feel. So you know, start with the day, how I feel. Then my top projects. So dates, place, how I feel, what I can do to feel better. My top projects. This project mattered because, and then here. Here is one small action I can take to move forward is, boom, powerful. And then at the, at the bottom, ooh, this, this is good. I haven't, I haven't seen it until now. Today, I will stop working at, I think most, a lot of entrepreneurs should put a stop, a stop time. I work, I work late hours, but it would be nice if I purposely say, I am not going to work past this time. I'm gonna have a great night of sleep. I'm gonna wake up refreshed and I'm gonna press forward. Then on the right side, right now I'm, I'm grateful for. So I, I see the redundancy in the two things. Maybe she can explain it differently than I am, but that's my perception right now. And I haven't read the instructions. I just open it and, and I'm sharing this with you. Brain dump, a section for brain dump, just like notes in the other place, in the other page. Uh, plan my day from six to night at 8 p.m. I guess uh, the confident corner so some people can complain that oh why well, you don't have 9 10 11 12 but really I have I, 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 I'm not gonna be that picky the confidence corner today's challenge so it's good here at the end at the end of the day when I'm going uh, when I am going to do it uh, spend 20 minutes journaling. What's the biggest obstacle on the way? So some, I've seen this before in other journals, like what was the biggest obstacle and, and, and how you're gonna overcome it. I didn't find it useful, but I, I can see how people self-reflect. If you remember how, if you remember to journal at the end of the night, or maybe you just fill it up the next morning, then you can see what happened today. Did I spend too much time on the TV? What, what if then do this? I can implement to avoid this tomorrow. So you can self assess your situation and, and move forward. But I like the layout. I like the feel. It's hard book. Full focus, five second journal. I bought them, you can buy more, both in Amazon. Give it a shot. Uh, after, after this one, I'm gonna go back to the bullet, bullet journal. I think the, that's the one that I, I keep I keep referring. So what I'm going to do different in the bullet journal when I go back is I am going to, the first couple of pages, I'm gonna create a template of how, I, like a reminder, re, weekly reviews, ideally week, daily, how I want my, 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 my planner to, you know, extracting what I've learned from all these journals and, and what I use in the digital and put it on paper and uh, just give it a shot. So that will take me to the third quarter of this year. Isn't that amazing? Give it a shot. I, I hope you like this video. I hope it answers some questions from somebody that has been using. I've been using productivity journals for a while. I've been teaching time management and productivity, f not only in the military, but outside the military for a long time. So take my insight. They, they, productivity journals will work. Um, some of them are more expensive there than others. They range from $20, like the Lectrum, like for the bullet journal, to 30 and higher, but they're worth it. If you need some structure, if you can use some structure in your day, give it a shot. Um, my favorite right now, my favorite right now, if you have to buy one, is a full focus. Again, I haven't used, I, haven't, I got this one yesterday. I haven't used it yet, so maybe I changed my mind. I'll give you an update in three months or after March. But my favorite is the full focus right now from all of the ones that I've used. And again, I'm gonna link the video uh, where I review the, the other ones. 
um, below. I'm gonna drink, link it below, so please uh, watch that one so in, before you make a decision. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm gonna go back to the Electrum, uh, the bullet journal format, which is Electrum 1917. It's a dotted uh, notebook, and, and I love that format. Anyhow, I hope it helps. And if you, if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, share this video with a friend. You know, please share it on Facebook. It would mean the world to me. Tag me, tag me on Facebook, tag me on, 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 on uh, Twitter, Angel F. Anderson. Please share it. I, I would love to see this uh, information helping a lot of people. I hope you're having a fantastic day. The best day ever. Consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.